Everyone's clowning these rappers for their insane antics, from walking around in diapers on the street, to eating rats on camera, and even catching fish with their mouths. Oh! Their outrageous videos and music are blowing up across social media so much that even the island boys are desperate to make content with them. I think you guys are really cute, then make some content. But despite going viral for many people finding them cringeworthy and just can't take them seriously, thinking they're trying way too hard for those views. Yo, I'm with Chevy, we're gonna find out how far the G-spot is, take it. And now, everyone's wondering if they are in the rap game for real, or just chasing after the fame like most fake rappers out there. Colt Shada and Lil Golo shot to fame all the way from Australia with their wild style. Rocking tattoos all over their faces, the craziest of haircuts, and over-the-top outfits while making goofy videos. What really caught people's attention and made them skyrocket are their songs. But despite gaining lots of fans, they also gained lots of haters. With some people saying they are just cat rappers, while others think they are another copycat of the Island Boys. They got mixed reactions online. It gets even crazier, because many also feel their content pushes things too far, like making jokes about making OF or asking people embarrassing questions about Australia. Which celebrity is the smallest in Australia? You guys search this up? How do you have this information? Yo, we know this. If you think that criticism can bring them down in any way, you're totally wrong. Because despite some people trying to write them off as just some island boy clones, they decided to fire back in their own style by posting this. I can never hide but on the way to beat those island boys, but worse allegations. And for those who think they're faking it just because they don't match typical tough rapper look from the hood, this is what Lil Golo had to say about that. What makes you think I shouldn't rep Bean Tonga? Is it because the way I dress or something non-masculine? I'm I'm not allowed to rep Tonga? Like, what the f Because believe it or not, it wasn't like this in the first place. As it turns out, that breaking as underground rappers was something impossible given their background growing up. I was fully into religious, like, LDS, Mormon, like, that I have a different path. And then we started f***ing around doing YouTube videos, like, op shops. I just wanted to be, like, his hype man or whatever. But after years of grinding and making viral content, it seems like they're finally hitting it big time. And they're set to take over the USA by moving there. And they want their fans to know that there's no shame in hustling to make your dreams come true. Even if it means starting from the bottom. I had expect to escape the matrix. You need five extremes of income. What do you guys think? Do they have what it takes to make it as rappers, or are their five minutes of fame up soon?